the natural area is 365 acres, uh, but half of it is in floodplain. It's land that St. Michael's College has owned since we opened the college. It's all of the land between Route 15 and the Winooski River. I'm Declan McCabe, I'm the uh, Natural Area Coordinator here for the St. Michael's College Natural Area. Professor in the Biology Department and I work a lot with the Centre for the Environment here also. Got some very cool amphibian action happening there. <laughs> Did you get them? So we're looking at a historic flood right behind me. This is a flood that has exceeded the depth that was produced by Hurricane Irene in 2011. So there's a lot of water back there. And what you see over my shoulder is the Winooski River that has wandered out of its banks and has filled our wetlands. And so if we look at all these leaves, a lot of them are completely coated with fine sediment. If I was here during the flood, I'd be way steep in water. It's pretty easy to see where that, that line is. This is a really good opportunity to just look across the landscape right now with the camera and pan. So if you pan across the landscape here, you can see very, very graphically the high water mark right at eye level. We've had many, many large storms in the last 20 years, and that is because of climate change. Most of those big storms come in the fall season when we have leftover hurricanes that come up. We need to plan for more events like that. We need to make sure we're not building in or near floodplains. We want, need to pull our resources out of floodplains to the extent possible. And those that are unavoidably in floodplains, we need to prepare for frequent flooding. The entire campus is a lab setting, if you like. So we've got this floodplain here and some people might think, oh great, it's a floodplain. We see it as a learning opportunity. So we want you down here. We want you exploring the trails. We want you exploring them on your own time. We want you in there measuring things, making a difference. We also want you down here planting trees so that the areas that were previously under corn will become reforested much more rapidly. All of these things are good for all of our futures. And particularly, if you happen to be 17 years old, you've got a bit more future than I do. Thank you.